Looney Farm Guy here with a new mod test for Farming Simulator 22 in this for all platforms, PC, Mac, and console. I'm on PS5 on Fox Farm here with this, the Quaco SI25000 by Vertex Design, 35.51 megabytes to download. It is 18 slots on console, and we have a, ooh, a list of configurations we need to go through. First of all, tools and slurry tanks is where we'll find it. Here it is, just one mod, $40,000. Uh, recommended 300 horsepower, I would recommend that for sure. 25,000 uh, liter capacity, 9.9 .9 tons, nine mile per hour working speed, uh, digestate and slurry. Although noticeably absent is the working width. Now there is a reason for that. So we have a few configurations here, and we'll go through them first, uh, as usual. We have tank, which is just strictly a tank. Then we have tank with arm. So that is, um, as far as I can tell, on console, just a decorative object. I'll show you how, it's, uh, how it operates, but you don't need it to fill the tank, not on console, at least anyways. Then we have the next one up is a distributor. And this is the uh, the largest spreading width of all of them. And we'll go through that again. Oh, that's $17,000 extra, by the way. Um, these other, the tank, no, tank with arm, five grand, 17 grand for this. Distributor with arm for 22. Then we have the swiffle, which is um, a different style of spreading but it is still a spreader uh, we'll show you that we have one of those swiffle with arm again it has the uh, suction arm uh, most cheddar that is another type of spreader um, and fifteen hundred bucks for that most cheddar with arm most cheddar duo which means there's two of them which would be wider and then with an arm and then tank so let's go with tank uh let's go with this with arm uh to look at the other options uh trailerberg vertestine michelin and trailerberg we have a couple of trier tread options there um slurry pit arm extension no or yes uh that will put an extension arm on the end of that like so uh, main color, we can choose the white, the new, or the old. Chassis color, white or dark gray. Like so. And then design color, orange or black. Where is that? What does that change? Not a lot that I can see. Hard to tell. Uh, rim color, we have all the colors for the rims, which is odd, I would thought. But anyways, uh, there you go. So, let's talk about, uh, let's go over here first. So this is the big, the biggest one, the widest one. I uh, filled this under the buy anything tank. Uh, filled up very easily. So, L1 and uh, to do slurry arm fold. So, that's actually full. It comes like thus. So, to activate it, L1 and down, unfolds it. And that's when you get your L1 and right stick and up and down. So, left and right, up and down. And then we also have R1 and right stick left and right you can bend the end of that there so let's see if we do this it will automatically l1 and down on the d-pad automatically puts it into the folded position nice and tucked away so what else do we have r1 and right stick up and down we have the tongue adjustment like so right then the rest of it all has to do with your slurry arms. Now, how do you get them out here? Well, 
That is a little bit different. R1 and L3. So your left joystick, press it down and that will actually fold. So you, it comes this, as you've seen in the store, it comes like this. Now you can use it like this. And if you hire a worker, he will spread it at 15 meters, right? So he can, he'll happily go along and do that. However, what I didn't test was to see if he actually turned around and didn't miss anything doing the 15 meters. So we're going to do that right now because he was doing fine with the widest. But let's let's stop him right here. Let's go here and watch what he does. It's going to back up for a bit. Quite a bit, as a matter of fact. And it seems to be a bit okay. So he's going on a walkabout. So yeah, he's going like it's um, like he has the full width because he's way out here, right? So I would not recommend that setting. Although if you get this, you're probably going to use it as a manual to touch up because you can just turn it on and go ahead touch up a small area if you want it does use up slurry quite quickly because well it does r1 and l3 extends those arms and now if you hire a worker it is at an incredible 36 meter spread so very nice indeed as you can see it uh, it will run out of slurry very quickly um, anything else you can do the double application and they will and then he will uh, go half the speed and use twice the amount so uh, that's always an option when you're not using precision farming right and i think that's that's it for this one, right? So that is the uh, that model with the arms. That's the only one with the distributor arm. Now let's go here. This was the first one we talked about with this style. Uh, and this is the, it doesn't tell me which model this is, but you can see it is not, it is the stationary model here that the other one had, except it doesn't have the arms, right? Okay, so everything else is the same here. Working width is 15 meters. You cannot change that even though you go R1 and L3, it still won't change. We have all the other adjustments. This one doesn't have the fill arm on it, but I was very able to fill it with slurry very easily and oh one more thing uh, this one in this configuration you cannot hire a worker as you can see um, if I press the circle um, it does that so you can only use it in manual mode or just um, just to show um, that um, say you've run out of the the other one has run out of slurry oh dear what do we do well we can take this as we come up here we can refill it from this other tank so it is very easy to transfer product and so forth so that's nice right so how about this one this one has the single I think it was called mochi uh, that there is some problem with the translation I do believe uh, it's definitely not English uh, but they did call that, if you uh, recall, and this is what this one looks like. If I press that one, also does not have a worker available. Uh, it will do this at 18 meters. So that's an 18 meter spread. Very nice. But again, only manual. So let's uh, turn that off. Uh, we have... Um, we have some L1 and right stick, but that uh, isn't doing anything, and neither. Oh, I see. It's uh, the controls are there for the the top hose, which or the top arm, which we don't have. Hmm. Right. Okay. Um, last but not least, 
Uh, we do have the arm on this one, and this is the double mochi. And activate Sir Turn on Tanker Engine Toggle. And oddly enough, this one doesn't have. Uh, oh, there we are. Slurry arm on fold. Right. Okay. So we didn't need the slurry arm to fill it, but it is here if you want to play with it. Right. And if you just want to put it away, just go down L1 and D pad down again. Right. So again, no AI worker. We cannot hire a worker. However, it does spread at 21 meters manually only. That's odd that you can't hire a worker. Hmm. Um, slurry on a fully. Yeah, that's, um, yeah, that's about it. Um, yeah, uh, it is an odd bit that you can't hire a worker in any other configuration other than this one. For some reason, uh, this has no problem hiring a worker, but it will only actually work in uh, uh, properly in uh, in this uh, configuration and not the smaller configuration. So, perhaps an update is in order. But there you go. That is uh, oh lights. Do we have lights? Do we even have lights on these? Yes, we do. As a matter of fact, I do believe there's a... Yes, this one does have a beacon. Uh, these others that don't have the... Uh, the, the... the What do they call it? Distributor. Uh, does not... Uh, the other ones don't have beacons. This one uh, does uh, with the distributor. So that's uh, signals. Yeah, all the, all the good stuff there for sure. Um, there, I think that's it now. Uh, it's been a bit of a day for me, but the, thank you all for watching. I'm Lily Farm Guy, and that's the Quaco SI25000 by Vertex Design, 36.51 megabytes to download. Uh, 18 slots on console. Thank you all for watching. I'm Looney Farm Guy, and remember, it's only a game. So, till next time, bye for now.